ago we were here. Mwaka uliopita tulikuwa hapa. And uh, that is when the, this vision uh, bishop was able to launch this vision. Na ilikuwa ni kuanzisha maono haya kupitia askofu. And I want to say that what happened last year is something that really stirred my heart and my spirit. Na nasema ambacho kilifanyika mwaka uliopita kilisisimua moyo wangu na nafsi yangu. And I decided that every time I come here I will not just come because people are coming. Na nikaamua nikikija hapa sitakuwa nakuja kwa sababu tu watu wanakuja. I will always come prophetically. Lakini itakuja kwa kijia kinabii. So last year I got something. Kwa hivyo mwaka uliopita nilipata kitu. And I went. Na nikaenda. And I also started something. Na nikaanzisha kitu. And I have seen what the Lord can do. Na nimeona so how I pray that you will purpose to get something today and that you may allow the spirit of God to stir you up and I believe that your life will never be the same again so today um, we are celebrating one year since Chairo started. And we thank God for that. This is a way of showing that our God is always faithful. The Bible says that our God is not a man to lie. He is a God of justice. And whatever that he promises he shall always fulfill. And whatever that is started of him will always move on by his grace. So when you see what is happening here, you can only say this is the goodness of the Lord. Don't your neighbor tell your neighbor this is the goodness of the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. And so even as we thank God because of who he is and what he has done in our lives from today onwards I would want to share a message that when we get it is going to help us even to go to the next levels of our lives. I have entitled my message War Against Anxiety war against anxiety so maybe we can just a little bit try to uh to I was checking the meaning of the word anxiety in Swahili. Nikakuwa nikiangalia ile jina anxiety kwa lugha ya Kiswahili. Na nikapata ni wasiwasi. Ni jinsi ya kupata wasiwasi. Gaukia mwenzako mwambie wacha wasiwasi. Usikuwe na wasiwasi. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Eh wasiwasi una usijui kama umewahi ona mtu akona na wasiwasi. Bwana aswe sana. Amen. So when you go to the hospital, ukienda pale hospitalini um, the doctors who are here they will tell you something even before they treat you the first thing they will try to get out of you is wasiwasi they will make sure you are settled they will make sure you know hauna wasiwasi and so they will take all their time and before they do any treatment or before they start asking you any of the question the first thing they will do is they take the vitals they will, they will do the vitals they will check your blood pressure they will check your temperature and some doctors will even you know, talk to you in a very nice way because they want to make you feel comfortable and sometimes I discovered that people who go to the hospital and they, may really, they really may not actually be sick some people are full of anxiety and I'm telling you this has ever happened to my life. One time I felt like I am sick. I, I felt like I can't stay anymore. I, I need to do something about it. So I popped in in the hospital. And when I got there, I found a doctor. And, 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 and he said, before we do anything, let's check on your vitals. And then he started talking nicely to me. I want to assure you, I left that hospital without any medication. Finally, Dr. Aniambia, where you are, you are full of anxiety. 
Bwana asiwe sana. Amen. And I went home and I felt I was okay. Kwa hivyo nikaenda nyumbani nikakuwa sawa. So now. anxiety is that feeling of nervousness. Kwa hivyo wasiwasi ni ile hali ya kuwa haujatulia. Or you feel unease. Ama unasikia ni kwamba hauna tulizi. About something. Kuhusu jambo. It is that uncertainty. Ni ile hali ya kutokuwa na You are so uncertain about your life. Hauna uhakika kuhusu maisha yako. You are so uncertain about what is going to happen in your life. Hauna uhakika nini kitaendekea katika maisha yako. It is actually a feeling of fear. Kuna kitu ama kuna uoga ndani mwako. It it's it's that that thing that makes you to be restless. Ni jambo ambalo nakufanya usipata tulizi. Why are you are not sure what is going to happen? Hali huku hujui nini kitatendeka. It is it is having tension. Ni kuwa na ile hali ya wasiwasi. It is when you are worried about certain thoughts in your life. And so when I read the Bible, if there is something that Jesus was trying to work on is anxiety in people's lives. And we 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 will see several scriptures and we will also be able to see how Jesus actually spent a lot of time trying to help the disciples to work out on their anxiety but before we go there i want us to read the book of genesis chapter 26 and verses number 1 and uh, we will try to move a little bit fast because Something else is coming after this. Genesis 26 from verses number 1. The Bible says that there was famine in the land. Besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech. King of the Philistines. In Gelar. So there was a famine. In the land. And the Bible says this is beside. The first famine. So there was famine during Isaac's time. But there was also famine during Abraham's time. And when I was reading these scriptures, there's something that came in my heart. That there will always come problems that were there before. Did you get my statement? There will always come problems that were there before. What does that mean? Some of the problems we have you are not the first person to experience those problems. There are other people who experienced exactly the problems you experience today. And so what matters is not the problem. What matters is how different we would deal with that problem. So there was famine there was famine during Abraham's time. And there was also famine during during Isaac's time. And so when famine came during Isaac's time, anxiety crept in in Isaac's heart. And he went to Abimelech. So when you continue with verses number 2, you will see the Bible says, then the Lord appeared to him and said, do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. So it's like God is staring him do not be anxious don't you dare to be worried I want you to turn to your neighbor tell your neighbor don't be anxious tell your neighbor never never dare to be worried because the Lord is in control so there was famine also during Abraham's time and Abraham went to seek help from Egypt and all of us know that Egypt is a typology of the of, of, of of the kingdom of darkness. And so some problems will always come in our lives. But what matters is whether we, uh, we will allow anxiety to enter. So when this problem came during Isaac's time, Isaac was also contemplating to do the same thing that his father did because he got full of 
of fear and anxiety but the Lord appeared to him and he tells him not to go to Egypt and stay in the land that he will tell him so one way of dealing with anxiety is allowing the Lord to speak to you is allowing God to minister to you praise the name of a living God how I pray that God will raise a generation in this church a generation that will allow God to minister minister to their hearts. How I pray that you will not allow the media systems in the world to minister to you. How I pray that you will not allow whatever that is happening currently to minister to you. That you will allow the Lord to minister to your heart. And that is going to help you to deal with anxiety. So when you read verses 6 and 7, anxiety crept in in his, in his heart. And verses number 9 It also confirms That Isaac was a very anxious guy And verses 9 confirms That he was an anxious guy And he actually confessed That because of being anxious He never said uh, the truth about his wife And so when you continue with the scriptures all the way down verses 18 to 28 you will see after Isaac allowed God to minister to him anxiety now has left him and even after he started facing challenges he now this time is not allowing anxiety in his heart so verses 18 to 28 Isaac is now not anxious and after every scare he is motivated to go to the next level. This is now when he begins to redig the wells of his father Abraham. So the Bible says that every well that he could dig, the enemies would come and quarrel him and he would go away. But that did not stop him to go to the next well. So every time they came and scared him, because he had already dealt with anxiety he would go and dig another well how I pray for somebody here today that you will not allow whatever that you are going through to stop you going to the next level of your life come on I want to speak prophetically in your life that there is nothing that is going to stop you to go to the next level of your life if you believe and say amen I want you to talk to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, don't be anxious. Go to the next level of your life. No matter what you are going through. No matter what is the circumstance. No matter what is the situation. Praise the name of the living God. So let me take you to the book of Matthew chapter 6. Now we begin to see Jesus trying to deal with the anxious disciples. They were so anxious about their lives. And so in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 34. So therefore the Bible says. Therefore I say to you. Do not worry about your life. What you will eat. Or what you will drink. Nor about your body. What you will put on. Is not like more than food and body. More than things. The reason why Jesus is making the, is giving this message is because he was having people who were so anxious about their lives. So Jesus had just called his disciples and he had called them to come into ministry. And he had called them to come and serve together with him. And so they were asking him very many, many, many questions. The same way today we are asking ourselves many questions. They were asking Jesus, how are we going to survive? How are we going to eat? 
How are our children going to survive? How are we going to educate our children? You are telling us to follow you. You are telling us that we should carry the cross. You are telling us that we should ready to eat of your flesh and drink of your blood. So what, how are we going to manage this life? So these are people who are so anxious in life. They, 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 they didn't want to gamble. They wanted to be sure of what they, you know, of, of what Jesus was telling them. And so Jesus begins now to teach them the word. And he begins to make them understand not unless they deal with anxiety. They will never go anywhere. They will never achieve anything in life. I want to speak to somebody here today. Not unless we deal with anxiety. As an individual, as a church, as a family, she will never go anywhere in life. Praise the name of a living God. May the Lord help you to deal with every anxiety of your life. Whatever that makes you feel anxious, may the Lord help you to deal with it in Jesus' name. So what is Jesus saying? What is he saying? Jesus is saying that we should not be anxious about anything. We should not be worried about anything. And he continues to tell them is if God provides the birds of the air. Praise the name of a living God. Hallelujah. Amen. And you cannot be compared with the birds of the air. And he said, look at the birds of the air. For they neither sow nor nor reap, nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly father, he feeds them. Praise the name of a living God. And then he says, are you not of more value? That's your neighbor, tell your neighbor, you are of more value. So he provides the birds of air. They do not sow. Praise the name of a living God. But God still provides to them. So are you not more of more value than the birds of the air. Come on, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, you are more valuable. The Bible says that you are fearful and wonderful made. You are not like whatever they said you are. Praise the name of the living God. You are not like whatever your mad teacher said you are. Ah, you are not like the mathematics teacher said about you. Praise the name of the living God. Uku ni wapi? Bwana asiwe sana. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, if you are sitting next to already, tell them you are, you are more variable. You know, it's very important to talk to your neighbor. Some of you have not had anybody to tell them they look nice, they are variable, I love you. So touch your neighbor, tell them you are more variable. You look so nice. So if you are sitting next to a woman, kindly appreciate their hairstyle. Mutu anayezaji jana kukaa kwa sarun five hours. How can somebody can sit for five Dio, hours? Dio akikuja church muone ya kosawa. So that she appears. Alafu akikaa next kwa kwa wewe unamuasium. <laughs> ah, wacha hiyo madharao. Kama akona moso doi muambio, hiyo moso doi kosawa. Tell her that she looks nice. Bwana aswe sana. Amen. So if God can provide to the birds of air, what about for Shiro? Sebu se Shiro. So what, 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 one billion, what is one billion? Ask your neighbor, what is one billion? If he can provide to the birds of the air, what, what is one billion to God? So tell neighbor, don't be anxious. Ah, tazama, uyo mwenya kokaribu kutoloka hakisikia mambo ya pesa. Mwambia, washa haraka. Washa wasi wasi. Don't be in a hurry, stop being anxious. Bwana swe sana. Amen. Praise the name of a living God. And so there is a scripture I love down there. When you go down there in the book of Matthew, Kuna I love this one. I love this one. Kuna From, this is what the Bible says. Bibi go down to verses 26. Wa na sita. I love this scripture so much. Na sana. Look at the birds of air, for they neither sow nor reap. Okay, go down to 27. Saba. Which of you is worrying? Can there is the one that's telling, talking about the grass, the glass? 
which of you by one can add one cubit of yani nani <laughs> weni kwa kujari wengi wanaweza kujiongezea kimo hata ukiwa na wasiwasi gani no hakuna kitu utaongeza katika maisha you yako nothing to your life uh, go down has anyone by fitting in front of you the mirror ever gotten tora by so <laughs> I love this I love this Bwana asiye sana Amen Praise the name of the living God Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah You know there are some women who are so much anxious You are 35 40 years you are not married you are so anxious Una sema sasa mimi nitawai orewa na nani Bwana asiye sana Amen Am I talking to somebody Praise the name of the living God There is nothing too hard for our God Everything is possible with our God Don't be anxious of anything The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verses number 6 to 7 Be careful for nothing But in everything by prayer and supplication With thanksgiving let your request be known unto God Don't be anxious for anything God is in control Your life is in the hands of God The life of Shiro is in the hands of God Whatever matter is needed God is in control You don't have to run away from church Don't be anxious Praise the name of the living God Ukienda Matthew hapo 627 maandiko inasemaga Matthew 626 there about haujawaiona nyasi never seen grass ikiwa ushi when it is naked yani god ana provide digi kwa nyasi mpaka nyasi hainaga umewahi tembea ukasema kai provide even for the grass ona vya maandiko inasema na if god so clothes the grass of the field na kama mungu atavisha nyasi ya uwajani i love this one If God can crop the glass of a field. Praise the name of a living God. Yaani unaenda, yaani kama Mungu hangevarisha nyasi nguo. If God had not crop the grass. Tungekuwa tunatembea tunakai, ona hii nyasi iko ushi eh, tunaanza kuishekerea. It is naked and we laugh at it. Si ndio? But imagine God crops the grass. Lakini Mungu alivisha nyasi. Which today is. Abao siku ya leo iko. Hiyo nyasi tomorrow is thrown away into the oven and the Bible says will he not much more cloth you come on turn to your neighbor tell your neighbor God is going to cloth you praise the name of the living God Amen. don't you be anxious don't you be worried can I speak to Shiro can I speak prophetically Shiro do not be anxious Jehovah is coming to cloth you he is coming to remove every man of shame he is coming to remove shame whatever that he will do to make sure that Shiro goes to the next level he is going to do it if you believe it shout amen hallelujah praise the name of the living God you need to understand this when you are anxious and you go to God in prayer kwa Mungu kwa maoni, and in supplication na pia kwa kuleta tatizo za what Jesus is telling us Yesu anachokutuambia ni is that we should not be anxious ni kwamba tusiwe na wasiwasi about anything kuhusu chochote don't be anxious about anything sio na wasiwasi kuhusu chochote just relax in the presence of God ndio katika uwepo wa Bwana and God is going to sort it out na Bwana ataishughulikia na I believe I have good Bible readers in the house. Praise the name of the living God. Because if you are a good good Bible reader, you will you will or you should have discovered something. That the in the vocabulary of God. The vocabulary of God are very different from the vocabulary of men. Tell your neighbor God's vocabulary are different from the vocabulary of men. If you are a good Bible reader, you will discover like I discovered. The vocabulary of men it tells us to be anxious. It tells us to be worried. It tells us we cannot survive. But in God's vocabulary you will never find anything like that for instance for instance we have a calendar that tells us we have january to december and all of us will always associate 
certain months with certain situations. Na sisi kwamba kuna miezi ambayo tutaihusisha. Uliza mwanza ikifika January kuna karoho kana kuambiaga kitu. There is a spirit that comes in January. Ambia mwanza kwa imebaki miezi ngapi tufike January? How many months to January? So ni vizuri kumkumbusha. Remind him of her. Si ndio? Eh? Right. Ikifika January. When it gets to January. Hakuna mtu hapa anasemanga ni kuzuri. Nobody here says. Wao wanasemanga ni kugumu. Everybody says that. Hata sasa hii watu wanasema zakayo. Even people are saying zakayo right now. <laughs> si ni ukweli? That's right. Bwana asiye sana. Yes. But I can I tell you something? In the vocabulary of God there is nothing like January February December Praise the name of the living God All the times are the seasons of God God can do anything in your life anytime any hour anywhere Can I tell you something God's economy is not is is not God's economy does not depend on Kenyan economy. Heaven's economy is not determined by Afri economy. Right now they are saying right now they are saying everywhere every, everything is difficult. That everything is hard. Some of you are so anxious you don't know even you don't even know whether your children will go to school or they will not go. Some of you when you sleep at night you are sweating a lot. You are so anxious about your life. So anxious about your children. So you, you, when you watch TV, they give bad, bad, bad news. When you read newspapers, they are telling us, get ready for a tough life. That is what they are telling us everywhere. When you go to other nations of the world, they are also telling people, life is going to be very difficult. But I have come to speak to somebody prophetically. Even when they say things are going to be difficult, we will not allow anxiety in our lives. We are the children of God, and He is the owner of silver and gold. Even when they are saying there is no money, some of you will be building houses. When they are saying there is no money, Shira will be building a church. This guy will be building a school. Ah, this, this side they don't believe in it. Let me preach to the people on this side. This is my church from today. This is my church. Can I prophesy? Even when they say that the economy is not good, because we will not allow anxiety, she will be building a house. These ones will be buying cars. These ones will be going for holiday. These ones will be building houses. If you believe, shout amen. Bwana asiye sana. Praise be to God. Ni wangapi walikuwa wana exist wakati wa corona? How many existed during corona? Walikuwa na exist. <laughs> Bwana wengine ni kama hawako sure. Others are not sure about that. You need to lift your hand like you are sure. Unafaa uinue mkono kama una hakika. Wakati walitangaza corona. When they announced corona. Sisi tukafunga mipaka yote ya Kenya. And we close all the borders. Tukasema hiyo kitu hatutaki ikuje. And we said that we don't want this thing to come. Wakati iliingia. When it got in. Na minister akatangaza case moja ya corona. The minister announced the first case. I am telling you. Na waambieni. Uoga iliingia. There's a lot of anxiety. Ni nini lija? Wasiwa? Wasiwa. Si ni ukweli? That's right. Ulikuwa unasikia mke wako <laughs> unasema we ukaguhereria na ni mke wako. Nani mke wako? You are supposed to get a little cough. Bwana asiye sana. Hai, mlikuwa mnakaa hivi mmekaa. You are not sitting the way you are. Imagine for all those years. Kwa hiyo miaka yote. You have trusted your bishop. Umemwamini yes. But time ya corona. Ulikuwa unapatia bishop space. Bishop kaa hapo na mimi nikae hapa. You are giving some anxiety irija. There was a lot of anxiety. Praise the name of the living God. Wakafunga makanisa. They crossed churches. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. But I stood and said to, to, to my members in church. Even during this corona time. Because God is not controlled by time, distance or space. Or situations and circumstances. Some of you will be building houses. Some of you will be buying cars. Some of you will do things you have never done. Can I speak to your life today? It doesn't matter what they speak or what they say today but I can see somebody in the house she will do unbelievable things in the mighty name of Jesus if you believe a shout amen there is no 
There is nothing like January, February with God. Hakuna mambo kama January mwezi wa pili. So ana kama wanasema ati ushumi iko, economy iko. Even if when they say the economy is shaking. Si pesa tutatoa. Going to have money. Uliza mwezi unatoa ama utoi. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Si tutajenga. We're si bilioni moja tutapata. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Si data milioni tutapata. Hata kama wanasema economy iko ah. Even if they say that zakayo wanasema ha. Ni bingu inaongea. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Can I tell you something? We do not do things because we have money. We do things because we have God. I want to see how many of you have God in their life. If you have God in your life, whatever that you desire, may you receive it in Jesus name. So when you read the Bible, you will find five languages in the Bible. Some of the languages you need to adopt them. And some of the languages you need to avoid them. Let me give you the five languages so that we can move very fast. That will help you to deal with anxiety. Even when you go home, you will go home and tell your children from today I have known something. I have known how to deal with anxiety. Language number one that you need to you will find in the Bible that will help you deal with anxiety. It is called the language of God. Tell your neighbor the language of God. When God speaks, he does so with absolute authority. And he speaks with power. And he speaks with absolute glory. Glory. So when, when he speaks he speaks with what we call absolute might and he speaks with faith and love how I pray that you will develop the language of God the Bible says that we have been created in the image and in the likeness of God so we can also choose to speak in the language of God praise the name of the living God the language of God is the language of possibilities and every one of us needs to run the language of God. When you read Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 31 you will discover that whatever God said it became. That is God's language. Can I tell you something? Because you have been created in the image of God and in the likeness of God from today you can decide that whatever you say whatever you speak without anxiety and you speak by faith it shall become hallelujah today whatever we will speak for Shiro whatever we will speak for this year again by faith it shall become there is no wish there is no sorcerer who is going to make it not to happen we will speak by faith come on tell your neighbor it is going to happen ask your neighbor how do you speak you know, some of us the way we speak this one thing I discovered you need to be a very spiritual Christian. Because the Bible says that God is spirit. And those that worship him must do it in spirit and in truth. So if you want to understand him, you must be spiritual. Now, look at your neighbor. Look at the neighbor. See whether they are spiritual. Ama neighbor yako ni ware wa mimi kama sijaona. Na sija. Na sijafanya nini? If they have no sin and touch, they don't believe. You are supposed to be spiritual. Do, do you know it is only spiritual people who will understand the vision that the bishop has? Cannot people cannot understand. Cannot people will just be anxious. If you get to issues, anxiety is not going to come. They start saying. Tulijua. 
Tulifanya nini? Tuliju? Inaerekea wapi? Where it's headed? Bwana asiye sana. Amen. You need to understand the language of God. So whatever he said. And one thing I love about God is that he began by saying things. But the things he said were powerful things. So some of you you wake up in the morning and you begin by saying things. But the question is what things do you say when you wake up? Nimeona asema kama kai nimeamka leo sioni kama nitatoboa nitatoboa I don't know whether I'm going to make it today Some of us we are where we are because of the things we say Wengine tuko hapa kwa sababu ya maneno Can you look at your neighbor clearly Angalia jirani yako hapa Tell neighbor you are the way Mwambie uko jinsi hii You say Jinsi usemavyo Wale wanasema nio na mwanyo no guo That is what you are. So what you say matters a lot. Kwa Kiingereza umesema githegetheka mututu ni nini? Bure kusema bure kabisa. Hiyo ni Kiingereza sawa. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. So God would say things Mungu atasema mambo. And the things he will say they will become. That is the language of God. Na mababa atasema yatafanyika mambo. Praise the name of the living God. And even Jesus himself. Na hata Yesu yeye mwenyewe. He understood the language of God. Alielewa lugha ya Mungu. In the book of Matthew chapter 4 verses 4. Katika Mathayo 4 mstari wa 4. Jesus is quoting is quoting the book of Deuteronomy 8:3. Yesu ananukuu jambo la kubukubu la And he says. Anasema. Man shall not live by bread alone. Baba mtu hataishi kwa mkate peke yake. Man shall not live by one. So, the devil wanted to bring anxiety to show them like you cannot succeed but Jesus understood the language of God every time the devil tempted him Jesus would counter him with the language of God and he said to him man shall not live by blood alone but by every word but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God can I speak to your life today by the word of the Lord shall you live again by the word of the Lord shall you conquer by the word of the Lord shall you make it in life if you believe and say amen God tells Jeremiah Jeremiah your life your life is in, in my hands praise the name of the living God I love this guy the centurion. Matthew 8:8. 8. The centurion comes to Jesus. And he tells Jesus, "My servant is so sick. You need to pray for my servant." And Jesus says, "Don't worry, I am planning I will come." But the centurion knew. The only thing he needed is Jesus to speak the language of God. Yeah? Some of you, you don't need your uncle. You don't need your auntie. You don't need God papa, God mama, God father, sugar mommy, sugar daddy, all the sugar sugar whatever sugar blah blah. Or South Africa they call them blessers. South Africa unaita blessers. Eh? Sponsors. Sponsors South Africa unaita ko blessers. Wanaitwa blessers lakini hapa ni wadhamini. You understand? Eh? Wadhamini. So how many wadhaminis do we have in the house? Or oh, they never came today. Hawakujia hapa. So you don't need those blessers and wadhaminis. You only need to speak the language of God. So the centurion tells Jesus. Jesus I know. You don't need to come. You only need to speak a word. And my servant is going to be healed. I stand here as a prophet of God. And I declare by the word of the Lord. I speak the language of God. Whatever they say against you. We We cancel it in Jesus name and by the language of God you will live again Praise the name of the living God 
He said, just speak the language of God. Just open your mouth. Don't speak like a Jew. Praise the name of the living God. Just don't speak like the son of Joseph. Speak the language of God. Come on, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, speak like the son of God. Speak the language of God. When you go to your business, speak to your business in the language of God. When you speak to your children, speak to your children children in the language of God. When you speak to your wife, speak to her in the language of God. Unamwambia my wife, my wife. Unamwambia my wife. No other beautiful woman that I have ever seen. It is only you. My wife, my wife. If there is a woman who will go far, it is you. But don't forget to carry along with me. Lakini usisahau uende pamoja na wami. Wengine wanaangalia kama bibi zao wanaambia. Other looks at their wives are they are like. Watu wengine wewe jua walitoka wapi? Other speak you can understand where they came from. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Tell your language number two. You must understand to, for you to deal with anxiety. You must understand to speak in the language of the angels. I love this. When an angel is talking, the words of an angel are filled with delegated power from God. For, 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 for example, when Ajo Gabriel stood and said authoritatively, I am Gabriel standing by the altar of God. I have been sent to deliver this message. Angels have no time to waste words. They don't have time to waste words. They, they, they are so specific. Angels go direct to the point. And the words of angels are filled with absolute obedience and commitment to God. When you read your Bible clearly and very well, you will find that that those who asked angels their names, they never got an answer. Because angels will come to deliver the message of God. So, when I was going through my Greek lessons, I found the Greek word for angel is angelos. And it means a messenger. And so when I look in this church, I can see very many angels. I, I don't know whether you got what I say. I can see very many angels here. Because an angel is a messenger. Are you not a messenger? Are you not a messenger? How many messengers of God do we have here? So you are an angel. And you need to develop the language of an angel. An angel speaks with authority from God. An an angel speaks with obedience. Praise the name of the living God. May you develop that language of an angel. When you go to your house, you are a messenger to your house. Some of you, you need to go to your village. And you go and say, my village, my village. I am the messenger of God. I have come to say that this village must change. That this family must change. Because you are a messenger. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Language number 3. Ruga ya tatu. It is called the language of the natural man. Ni ruga ya mwanadamu asiria. Na sasa hapa ndio watu wengi wasipojihadhari, watu wengi wako hapa. So many of us are here. Hata wale wameokoka wako hapa. Even the born again. If you are not careful. The language of the natural man is filled with death. It is filled with sickness. It is filled with doubt. It is filled with poverty. Those are the people that say that I believe to God that God has given me. The language of a natural man 
duga ya mwanadamu unasikia waifa haka amekwambia the wife will tell you unaomba Mungu amekupatia gari umekula umeshiba have you eaten enough for God to give you a car bwana asiwe sana Amen. the language of a natural ndio inakushushaga inakuleta chini it brings you so down bwana asiwe sana Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Unasikia mtu anasema mimi I'm trusting God. Ananifungulia mirango. God is opening Ya kuenda ngambo. So that I gonna go up. Unasikia ka sauti kingine kanasho romana kakakwambia. Another voice tells you. Ngambo haiendagwe na watu walifika class 4. You can go abroad if you are just a The language of a natural man is the language of death. Ni kwa ruga ya mwanadamu ni ruga. It is a language that has killed visions. Ni ruga ambayo imeua maono. It has killed aspirations. Imeua mababao ni mababao. I pray that you never speak the language of a natural man. The Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. What a shock. If you speak in the language of a natural man. So me I used to be there's a, there's a, there's a church I used to be in kuna kanisa ambao nilikuwa na shiriki and they would always invite guest speakers wageita wahubiri wageni waja kuhubiri and when the guest speakers would come na wakati ule mhubiri mgeni anaja they would call altar calls wageitana mwito hapa kuja hapa si mnajua ile altar call ya watu kuitwa wote hapa ule wito hapa unatolewa na mchungaji na kuna there is another altar call <laughs> Na kuna auto call uh, ya pasta anaangalia prophet the new pastor anaangalia anaangalia hivi fugaji anaangalia anaona dada hiyo hiyo nywere ya huyo dada ni ya 10th au anasema sister come 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 I have a prophetic word for you. Ama mjui kuna hiyo. Sister come come come. Stand here. I want to prophesy. So me was just a young man. I didn't have anything. I I I was having same suit all Sundays. One time I want to preach in a crusade with a shoe. I went to I went to preach in a crusade with you know I had a certain shoe nikaenda kuhubiri pale kurusini kuna kiatu fulani hapo na unajua watu wakiwa vijana mkihubiri kwa kurusini mna ubiriki na viungo vyote vya mwili mikono mikono vichwa kichwa miguu mkongo every part of your body you use it to preach so siku moja nimeenda kuhubiri kwa kurusini so one time i'm preaching on this crusade nikatupa mguu nikisema shetani yaende soro ya kiatu ikaenda na sheta so the, the shoe came off talent ika shetani akienda nayo soro ikafanya nini ikaenda sasa nikashindwa ndafanya nini nikaambia watu wafunga macho tuombe walipofunga macho nikaenda mahali soro ya kiatu ilikuwa nikaikanyanga nilihubiri hiyo crusade na hii design mbaka crusade ikaisha until the crusade was over so when these pastors were coming they did not see a reason to prophesy to me because i had nothing so there is that language of a natural man that would tell me i am nothing that would tell me they don't prophesy to me because i have nothing but the spirit of the lord minister to me that i can also speak another language the language of an angel the language of our God and I started prophesying on myself I started saying to myself I have discovered I am the greatest prophet of my own I don't need another prophet to prophesy to me I started prophesying to myself I started saying I am the one who have several pairs of shoes I will go to nations I will buy cars I will build houses I started prophesying to myself so, I started telling myself I am not useless. Let me tell you. The moment you discover that God begins to work wonders in your life. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor don't speak in the language of a natural man. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor you are the greatest prophet of your own. Whatever you say about you you will become it. Amen. If you are waiting for pastors from Nigeria. Where else do they come from? From Ghana. 
from Ghana to come and prophesy for Shiro. The Shiro you will have a billion. I'm telling you, people of Shiro, you are the greatest prophets of your own. Begin to prophesy for yourself. Hata kuna farm to moja asimame aseme, hata kama hauna kitu. Somebody should stand and say, useme, usimame, useme. By the grace of God, 10% ya 1 billion ni mimi nitareta. Ni mimi nitareta. Okay, pande hii hawajaamini. Hii ndio church. Hii ndio church itareta 100 million. Ndio hii. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Usimame useme. Eh? Ni 1 billion, 1 point billion. I believe. I prophesy over myself. 10% ya hiyo 1B. Ni mimi nitareta. Ni mimi nitareta. Sasa hiyo sasa umeenda ulimwengu mwingine. Sasa sasa hiyo wewe sio si, wewe sasa sio physical. Wewe sio wewe sio nashoro. Wewe wewe sasa umekuwa a spiritual Christian. Wewe umeanza kuona mambo vile Mungu anaonaga. How many people can see things the way God can see them? When people look at you, they see you the way you are. But when God looks at you, he can see a mother na kongara. The Bible says that your mother na kongara. The language of a the language of a natural man is a very dangerous language. It is a a language of hopelessness. There is a language full of fear and confusion. There is a language full of chronic unbelief. Praise the name of the living God. The language of a natural man can, can even interfere with your own destiny. Many parents have interfered with the destiny of their children because of the way they speak. Some of you have demoralized the life of your wife because of the way you speak to her. Unaangalia kwa wife yako akiingia kwa mrango. Unamuuliza sasa unatembeaje? Unatembea ni kama umeajiriwa na kajo kufagia. You know, una demoralize that lady because of your language. Unamshusha kabisa kwa sababu ya lugha yako. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Wengine wa mama wengine anaangalia bwana yake anasema mm. Others look at their husband they are like. Ah tire mudu. Hakuna mtu hapa. Na una, unajua mtu akikuangalia mpaka akukose, akuage. Somebody looks at you and they can't see you any longer. <laughs> eh? Umeisha. You are, you are you are you're finished. You're completely finished. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. When I learned that, wakati nilijua hili, I said, I will not depend on what people say about me. I will say things about my life. I also said I will say things things about my children. Kuna watu waliambiwa wewe kichwa yako ni kama marenge. Ukaambiwa vitu kwa sababu ulishika hii mahesabu sasa mpaka leo unatembeaga kama hii. They cannot get the mans and they walk like Unatembeaga kama hii. That is the language of a natural man. You need to develop the language of God. And tell yourself, I am not below, I am up. I am not the last, I am the first. I am not the tail, I am the head. Language number four that you need to develop is the language of a spirit-filled man. Somebody who is filled with the spirit of God. The language of a spirit-filled believers is filled with God. It is a language of faith. Language full of power and authority. It is a language of love and holiness. When you read about Joshua and Caleb, they were sent many of them. Some of them came back with the language of a natural man. But these guys came back with the language of the spirit filled people. The others said we have gone there. We have seen the place. The place is very nice. We, but we have seen giants. And when we compare ourselves with them, we are like glass, glass hoppers. The language of the natural man. But Joshua and Caleb, they say, no, 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 no. We can make it. We will go there. It doesn't matter whether they are giants. But we do not go by sight. We do not go by what we see. We go by faith. Ah, for the Bible says that the battle is not ours. The battle belongs to the Lord. It is not by power. It is not by might. But by the Spirit of God. May you be filled with the Spirit of God. May you learn how to speak a language that is spiritual. 
spirit filled and finally na mwisho the language that you need to avoid this one now is the most dangerous it is called the language of the devil somebody has written a book dag you are that one of you is <laughs> okay you read that book later the language of the devil is the language that is filled with lies anxiety uongo it is filled with a lot of deception and, 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 and it is filled you know death it is filled with death and you know death is a word from the bottom of hell fire na unajua kwamba kifo ni neno kutoka katika kiridi cha moto wa kuzimu it is only the vocabulary of man that you find words like impossibility katika msamii yetu mwanadamu utanenda neno ya kutoweza or death ama kifo praise the name of the living god wanasifiwe in fact kwa hakika one time wakati mmoja if you want to know that god does not have the language of of death God does not have the language of impossibility Somebody came to Jesus and he said to Jesus that this person is dead They say Lazarus is dead What did Jesus say What did he say Ali sema nini Eh Somebody is somebody is actually what Dr. Anaweza kuambia maybe the doctors had confirmed that this guy was satisfactorily dead. Ni kwamba na madaktari wao walisema kwamba huu mtu kwa hakika amefariki. And they had put him in the grave. Na wakamweka pale And they told Jesus this guy is dead. Na wakamwambia huyu mtu amefariki. And he has been in the grave for how many days? Na amekuwa pale kaburini siku ngapi? But when Jesus comes. Lakini wakati Yesu anakuja. Because there is no vocabulary like Death. in the language of god jesus says this guy is not dead and this guy is like are you crazy he said this guy is not dead this guy is just sleeping and jesus comes and says come out and the guy comes out i want you to, to to avoid the language of the devil the language of the devil is a language of death the language that the devil says in this marriage this one imeenda imekufa imekufa imeisha usijaribu that's the language of the devil but when you develop the language of god you will only know it is only by a, by a season because the bible says that though the crime may endure for a night joy cometh in the it's only for a season the language of god is only for a season so jesus says this guy is not dead he is just sleeping praise the name of the living god i am talking to somebody here today you may be here this day and you are so anxious about life when you check about the five languages i've, I've talked about when you check your life about anxiety you know where you are and today is your day that you will stand and say i must change my life something must change in my life i must change the language i speak i must stop being anxious in life i must develop the language of god i must believe i am not dead i am not finished there is still hope praise the name of the living god because our god is able because our god is faithful don't you dare to be anxious shall we bow down our hands in the presence of god and as you bow down your hand in the presence of god it is you who knows your life it is you who knows what is it that you are so anxious about it is you who knows some of the words and the languages that you have been speaking and today you want to say god i want to change the way i speak i want to overcome this anxiety some of you are so anxious you don't think that you are going to survive this year i want you to go before the lord in prayer and i want 
want you to pray this prayer from your heart. And tell God I overcome every anxiety. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can I hear somebody raise up their voice and calling upon the name of the Lord. And you are telling God something. And you begin now to speak over your life. And you, and you begin to speak over your life. And you begin to prophesy over your life. Every one of us bowing down your hand in the presence of God. And you are making an honest prayer before the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if you could be here today. And you are saying. I need a prayer because I have had an anxious life anxiety that I will lose my job anxiety that my marriage is not going to work there are things that you have been so anxious about and you are saying pastors pray with me you will just shoot your hand high if you need a prayer everybody bow your hands shoot up your hand high wherever you are shoot up your hand higher in the name of Jesus shoot up your hand higher everybody everybody raising up your hand I want you to run quickly here in front come quickly here in front run quickly run quickly so that we can make a prayer come quickly and I want you to come believing in the Lord that he is going to do it in your life in the mighty name of Jesus if you are not coming here, bow down your hand in prayer. And continue in prayers. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everybody lift up your hands in the presence of God. And I want you to allow the Holy Ghost to touch your life. I want you to rebuke every anxiety. I want you to silence every voice of the devil. In the name of Jesus. I want you to reject the reports of the doctors in the name of Jesus and I want you to declare that you will not die you will live long to declare the works of the Lord come on continue lifting up your hands in prayer Holy Spirit in the mighty name of the Lord, Shakarabaganda. Come on, continue coming if you are coming. We want to make a prayer of faith. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Everybody lift up your hands as we make this prayer. I want you to say after me, say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. And I want you to say like you mean it. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you. I, come to you. I, am I am your shout. I am your shout. Take over my life. In the name of Jesus. From today. Renew my name. With the blood of Jesus. From today. I disconnect myself from every anxiety, from every generational and hereditary causes. In the name of Jesus, every satanic covenant, every satanic order, every satanic order, every covenant of the devil, covenants of witchcraft, over my life, I break them from today. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, renew my name with your blood. I disconnect myself with the ones I was named after. I connect myself with the grace of God. From today, I register the name of the Lord over my life. The covenants of anxiety, I break them. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I de and I decree, I will not die. I will live long to declare the works of the Lord. Sicknesses, you have no place in my life. Every word, every statement that has ever been spoken 
against my life by any man by any woman by any demon by any spirit those words i cancel them with the blood of jesus and from today and from today i want you to raise your hands on your hand raise your hands on your hand and from today i am the blessed of the lord i am a winner i will conquer i am more than a conqueror i will succeed anxiety is not my portion death is not my portion sickness you're not my portion whatever that i feared it shall not come in my life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh my father my father my father back all my enemies back all my enemies take over my battles take over my battles in the name of jesus as you put your hands on your hand i want you now to begin prophesying over your life receive it in jesus name receive your miracle receive it in the name of jesus come on pray 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 for yourself every anxiety is gone every sickness is gone every fear is gone every unbelief is gone every manner of death is gone in the name of jesus in the name of the lord in the name of the lord Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Any one of you who had any suicidal thought because of the things that you are going through right now in Jesus name we rebuke the demons of suicide the spirit behind suicide we rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus let it come out of your life Thank you Lord. Because you have done it. I want you to thank him. Lift up your hands and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks.